Suspicion marked the Milwaukee recount from the moment it started. Kloppenberg observers were led into the corral, but processors were not. Have you asked anyone why there's Kloppenberg people allowed in there and you're not? I haven't asked anyone. Processor people outside and they weren't being allowed in. Why and not? Then, I don't know. I'm, that's why I'm asking. And then... Who, as a, who was not allowing them in? The Sheriff's Department. Was this when the ballots were being brought back and forth? No, it was before the ballots were brought out. Is everybody in place now? I'm just asking, is, is everybody in I, place I'm now? I'm not with the campaign. I don't know if everybody's in okay, place Okay, well, I'm, I'm just, just asking, what's what's the problem? As, is the problem still existing, and can we a, solve the problem? As a member of the media, I, I'm curious. I, I have to get we didn't hear any complaints from it's either campaign. Is there... After a few minutes, the Sheriff's Department let them in, and everyone took their places, at least where they thought their places were. Sir, is there a special side of the table that people have to stand on, or are they allowed to stand on both They're sides? They're supposed to stand on the opposite side from the tabulator. Excuse me, sir, you can't stand on the same side of the table as them. <laughs> I'll stay in touch with you. Sir, you know you can't stay on the same side of the table as them. No, you're supposed to be on this side. Oh, we're the same. We have a lot of you. People on holiday this week because kids are on. So they're breaking into stuff finding crabs. Yeah. Hey, Neil, were you planning on saying anything there? It's not clear to us, actually, that they can't be on the same side of the table. Oh, really? Yeah. Right. Okay. I can clarify that with Suzette, but as long as they're not interfering with the Rico. Excuse me, ma'am, with the pink. Red pens only. Thank you. The processor campaign says it's not going to sweat this small stuff. Part of the reason we're here is to make sure the process does go in as fair a manner as possible. I think on any first day of a recount, there's going to be some bumps on the road. Um, I think tomorrow is the day where you'll see things run as efficiently and effectively as possible. Uh, but I haven't great concern going into what has happened today. There are several steps in the recount process. First, teams count the total number of ballots. Then they separate those ballots into piles according to the candidates. Then they count those piles. Then they swap those piles with another team, which confirms their count. The whole process here in Milwaukee County is expected to take a long time and could go right up until the May 9th deadline. I think it's going to be a challenge for some of these larger counties like Milwaukee, Dane, uh, Racine, and Brown to get their work done by, by May 9th. Uh, we hope that that is the case. Uh, and we hope that when it comes to that point where you realize you're not going to be done by May 9th, um, that our opponent's campaign uh, helps us in taking steps to make sure we do get to that point. In the end, the Prosser campaign expects the results of the election will stand. Uh, we won by 7,316 votes. I can assure you of one thing when all things are said and done here is that we will have won this election. For the McIver Institute, I'm Bill Osmolsky.